Really quick, just so you guys can get a glance at the 2018 that you could be winning. Beautiful truck. It's probably frozen shut. But anyways. That's all I'm going to show you because I don't want to get a bunch of ice in the truck, but just beautiful truck. Go down into the description below and check out the information how to enter. Well, what is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We are back out here with the first gen again. So we're going to get to working away on some stuff on this truck. Yesterday in the previous video, well, filmed it yesterday. You guys are probably seeing this two days later, but... Um, we got the intercooler mounted back up in the truck. We got the grill put on. We got the intercooler piping slash intake piping hooked up on this side, which is super, super, super solid. Other than that, what we're probably gonna be focusing on is today getting the turbo off and getting the manifold off the truck. And the reason for that is I'm gonna have to do it anyways when the compound turbo kit comes in. And chances are I'm not gonna be able to do that all in one video. So I might as well start working on that now so that I have a little bit less to do once the kit comes in and I can just get right to piecing it together versus having to dismantle and piece together at the same time. So we're gonna get to doing that right now. Hopefully it goes pretty smooth. But other than that, it's starting to piece together little by little. Okay, we just gotta put injectors, valve springs, and the governor spring, and then the compound turbos. And then uh, all of our parts are in and then we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is gonna be transmission, and then also, not necessarily in this order, but then also the uh, lift pump for this thing. We gotta upgrade the lift pump to make sure that this thing is gonna be getting enough fuel for the power that's gonna be put to it. So anyways, guys, we're gonna to get to dismantling some stuff right now. So let me show you guys where we are at right now for the day with this truck. Turbo in the manifold out. Let me show you that over here. So here's the manifold. It's actually in decent shape. It's not cracked anywhere. Of course, it's all rusty. That's just how they are, but it's not split up or cracked. It's not too bad, but we don't have to reuse this anyhow. However, I might keep it as a spare because at some point we can always have a manifold crack or something. and need a backup but anyway so here's the h1c out of the truck as well everything looks good on it looks in some pretty good shape yeah anyways we've got that stuff out there so i'm going to show you what it looks like in the engine bay here i'm gonna actually throw some pb blast in the bottle and put the cap back on with these all those rusty bolts just in case we have to reuse them I don't know why I do that, but I just do sometimes if I have a couple days before I got to reuse them. Uh, but anyways, there it is. Everything off. It looks pretty clean. Like the side of the block looks really clean on this truck. There's hardly any grime on the side right there, which I'm actually very impressed given that um, I never washed it under the hood here. But I do think the engine was out at one point. I feel like it was probably um, overhauled or something because it's got a brand new head gasket on it. If you look... Where, where is it at? If you look around here, you can see there's a brand new like shiny tin gasket all the way around the top of the head. So I feel like it might have been out or at least or at least I had a new head gasket put on at some point. But um, and it was because it, it, it's it's very clean, surprisingly, um, other than just the ship's paint on the valve covers. But yeah, there it is. It's all nice and open up in there. We're probably gonna have to take this transmission heat exchanger out of the truck. I don't know if I wanna do that today because believe it or not, just what I've done is taken me a few hours and 
it's just kind of my, my schedule is come out, work for three or four hours on the truck, and then I have to go and edit for a couple hours, and then, you know, tend to some other emails and, you know, inventory stuff and everything else that I have to do day in and day out. It looks good. It looks good. I like being able to come out here each day and just get a couple hours worth of work done. Once we have everything and we're going to install, I'm going to come and I'm going to wipe down the um, area, surface area where the manifold is going to have to mount back up the new manifold. I believe it's a steed speed manifold, but I don't know for sure. I just decided I'm not going to order new ones. There's no point in spending 350 bucks on valve covers when I'm going to get the machine rocker pedestals and the ARP head studs to where I can reuse the factory ones anyways, and I can just do it with, you know, $15, $20 worth of spray paint, you know, and get just as much of a satisfying result um, for what I'm going to do with the truck anyways. It's not a show truck. The sled I'm using to hold some scrap metal from cutting away at that, um, stuff to install the intercooler and all that jazz just on all the scrap metal that i get from the truck in there do not forget to follow my buddy jason niece who has been providing the music for the videos lately the dude i mean he put some killer soundtracks together that are very 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 good to where they can compete with some of the top stuff out there for these time lapse videos and everything else that a lot of these youtubers are using like it's really really good stuff so definitely go down into the description Click on the link to go to his channel. Definitely subscribe. Listen through some of his soundtracks. You guys might really, really like it. His stuff is really, really cool. And I definitely enjoy it, and I definitely enjoy using it now. It's really, really good quality stuff. But anyways, guys, don't forget to enter the 2018 Longhorn giveaway. That giveaway is ending in just 17 days. 17 days, and then it's gone. That's just a little bit more than two weeks. And then this giveaway for the 2018 Longhorn is done. It's a Longhorn 3500 Cummins, mega cab, loaded out. I mean, all the bells and whistles, everything you can get on that truck. And then also, if you don't like the brand new truck, it's okay. If you're old school, you like the cool classic stuff, we have a, not this first gen, but we have a beautiful red five-speed four-wheel drive first gen, fully intercold, beautiful truck, red exterior, red interior, I mean, brand new wheels, brand new tires, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Engine's fully repainted and stuff. Engine was out and painted and all restored and everything. And a beautiful truck. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Definitely enter the giveaway. Link and information down in the description below. Every $15 is another entry to win. Pick yourself up a beanie, a keychain, a t-shirt, hoodie, I don't know, whatever you want to get. Anyways, giveaway ends in just over two weeks. Thank you guys so much. Join the team, join the family. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.